Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your touchpad on Windows 10 if you're experiencing problems. So there's a few different methods we're going to go through on how to hopefully solve this problem for you. The first one I recommend is checking to see if your specific laptop has a function key that may disable or enable the touchpad. So certain laptops it might be a function key plus three or function key and a six. So just look into that on the internet. I'd recommend you Googling your specific laptop and just see if there's any function key you might have accidentally pressed that has disabled your touchpad. I know it sounds kind of silly, but you'd be surprised how many laptops, and not only laptops, but keyboards in general, have function keys that you might accidentally bump into that will turn off something that's pretty important. So once you've ensured that the function key is enabled and no keys were pressed that disabled this, this tutorial will show you how to hopefully solve that problem. So once we get past that, what we're going to do is head over to the start menu and you want to left click on the start button to open it up. And then you want to proceed to left click on the gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says settings. You want to left click on that. Once you're under settings, you want to left click on the devices tile. And now you want to go down to mouse and touchpad and you want to left click on that. You want to left click on additional mouse options right here, right underneath related settings. If you're using a laptop, there should be a tab next to hardware that says touchpad over here. Since I'm using a desktop, it's not going to obviously be a touchpad tab, but for most of you guys who are experiencing this problem, there should be a touchpad tab there. So what you'd want to do is once you get over to that tab, underneath device, there should be some device listed there. Under port should be PS slash 2. And right underneath that, there should be a button that says enable device and stop device and options. You want to make sure enable device is turned on. So you want to make sure the device is enabled through that menu. So I'm just letting you guys know that. I would show that in this video, but unfortunately, like I said, I do not have a touchpad on this machine, but I'm pretty much taking you through exactly what you should do in order to fix that. So I'm gonna close out of the mouse properties window and the settings window as well. And I'm gonna to go to the start menu and I'm gonna search up device manager. Should be listed right above control panel. So you wanna left click on that You want to go underneath mice and other pointing devices. So left click on the little arrow next to it to expand that view. Or you can just double click on it right here. In all likelihood there should be something that says port input device or something along those lines there. So you can pretty much cancel out the mouse is not going to be what the problem is. It's probably going to be something else down here. So and it probably shouldn't even be that many either. So what we're going to be doing you can apply towards other devices if they're listed here as well. What I recommend doing is double clicking on the device. Go up to the driver tab near the top, and then left click on update driver. Search automatically for updated driver software is the first option, and I'd recommend that you explore that first. If it says the best driver software for your device is already installed, you can click on this little arrow in the back that will return us to the previous page. You can select browse my computer for driver software and then select let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. At this point you could select one of the drives down here and then proceed to left click on next and install the driver software. If that does not work for you, you're more than welcome to go online and look up your specific laptop model and I would recommend downloading the driver software through that. Most popular laptop providers are pretty big companies and many of them will offer their own standalone tools that will download and install the driver for you. So I definitely recommend you do that if you have say a Dell or a Hewlett Packard or Samsung, Toshiba, Lenovo, or so forth. I'm just letting you guys know that that is definitely another option you can do. And they do have a lot of tools online, believe it or not, through their own websites that will offer free tools. But these are just a couple of steps that I recommend you guys try. The first one, that I went through in this video is probably the most likely one that you accidentally turned off your touchpad 
by clicking some keys on your keyboard, I'd recommend going online and either going to the manufacturer's website, calling them, or going on their own forums because more than likely somebody else has run into this problem on your exact computer model because they ship out thousands of these or even millions in some cases every year you can figure that there's a good chance that somebody else has run into the same problem you have before. So I just wanted to make that clear. But I do hope that this tutorial was able to help you guys out. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.